how do we perceive reality? Right? Typically, we um, we look at the world and we have ideas about the world and we describe this distinction about the world as um, in some dualist conception as uh, a mental domain and a physical domain. Right? Dualism proposes that there are two uh, two worlds: the world of the physical interactions and uh, the world of the ideas. So uh, Descartes calls this physical world rest extensa, the world of the extended things, and the mental world res cogitans, the, uh, the, the um, domain or the substance of thought. And uh, as opposed to uh, dualism, we also have idealist traditions which say that uh, hold that there is only a mental world, that we exist in some kind of dream world, and that reality as we perceive it is a dream that is dreamt by a mind on a higher plane of existence. And this would explain why magic is possible, why things are possible that uh, are not compatible with physics, like consciousness, uh, conscious agents and so on, which we cannot explain in a straightforward way using physics. And uh, there's another intellectual tradition in philosophy, which is monist materialism, which holds there's only a physical world. And uh, in this physical world, there are uh, machines like our brains, and uh, these machines are capable of producing models, and uh, some of these models are mental models that uh, give rise to consciousness and experience and so on. And there is a way to bring these two perspectives together, because I think that they're both incomplete. I think that both the physical world that we experience and the mental world that uh, in which we think and reflect about that experience exist inside of our uh, mind. They are both dreamt by a mind on a higher plane of existence, and this mind on the higher plane of existence happens to be in the skull of a primate, in the physical world. The physical world is nothing that we can experience. It's just some weird quantum pattern generator that we don't have direct access to, but that projects patterns at our systemic interface, and it's our mind that creates both the mental world and the physical world as mental worlds. So uh, in this perspective, we uh, understand that we live in a dream that is generated by our own neocortex. 